cancelling on they do play the most insane sound but they are deafening i almost feel i'm i'm home alone right now that is scary i'm scared someone's gonna creep up behind me because they're so loud not even loud just the noise counts the noise cancelling is not on but they still just cancel the sound and if you have them or if you have the little Cass has them. I've got the old AirPods, the ones that go in your ears. He's got the noise cancelling ones. And even them, it's so weird. I hate it. It's like, it feels like someone suctioned all the air out of your ears. Weirdest thing. But welcome back. Hope you're having a nice week. I'm going to do a weekly vlog. It's Monday. Wow, I haven't started a weekly vlog on Monday in so long. It makes sense, obviously, but don't ever get around to it but I'm baby free at the moment. Today is my granddad's birthday. He would be 75 today. And my, my nan obviously struggles a lot with his birthday. And I do too, but I think we deal with things really differently. I've actually been thinking recently, I was thinking it the other day, that I might do uh, like a video at some point or just touch on it in a blog or something because I get asked a lot about grief and one of my really good friends texted me about a week ago and just said like blah 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 she's lost someone and she just wanted me to basically write out a paragraph to like keep her going that day and I think I forget that I lost two of the most important people in my life so young that it's almost just like, I forget that there is coping mechanisms because it's so natural for me. So back to what I was saying, me and my nan definitely deal with days like this differently. I quite like some time on my own and just put headphones on do cleaning which I don't normally like to do just keep them busy but I do like to have time on my own to also reflect whereas she likes to keep really busy and almost like not be sit sitting still at all and not think about it and just be really occupied so she's got ocean right now and they've I don't know what they're doing I think they've gone for a nice long walk and some lunch and I was just like, I'm just going to stay here and get some things done, which are quite hard when the baby's here. And also, I can never do stuff like this. You forget, you can't put headphones on. Well, no, you can't. Even when she's asleep, I just wouldn't feel comfortable putting on headphones, just in case she started crying or needed me. So, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm also trying to think, like, what else can I be doing to make the most? I've just been, like, cleaning and sorting things out, cutting up watermelon, <laughs> which I've been meaning to do. And I'm actually gonna fake tan. We're going on holiday a week tomorrow. So this will be my last weekly vlog before holiday vlog. And I'm at that icky stage. Probably doesn't look it because I've got a little bit of makeup on. I've been doing a little bit of work this morning as well. But I need, I'm desperate for the holiday. So just to get me through the week, I'm going to fake tan. And I've not shown my fake tan routine in a while. So I will show you that in a second. But yeah, I've got quite a lot planned this week. I say quite a lot. Quite a lot for me nowadays. I'm going into London tomorrow. I'm actually going to Norwich for a couple of days at the end of the week to spend some time with Zelia before she is a mum of two and i just thought it'd be a nice week to vlog i think the weather's gonna be nice it's been icky the last couple of days what is going on it's august but high spirits even though today essentially is a sad day for me 
I also try and flip it on its head and see it as a positive and my granddad would not want me sitting and moping around he'd actually want me to get out and be productive for the day so let's see what we can go do I need to fake tan I want to fake tan and I'm going to take this makeup off and start fresh I want to um do some TikToks too actually excuse how stylish I look I'm just wearing a blazer because it's easier to pull down when I'm tanning but I have different products for different body parts, different occasions. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know I've only ever really used tanologists, especially my face. They're the only tan products I trust on my face because they are dermat I can never say this word, dermatologically tested. So tested by dermatologists. And I go between using Day Glow, which I can go grab out the bathroom in a sec. Or I use this. This is for a little bit more of an intense tan. This is the face and body drops. And I've got them in the shade dark. You pump some out and you mix it with your moisturiser. Which I will show you in a second. And then I'm going to be using this on my body. Which is the tinted self tan mousse in dark. This is one of their newer products. I love this. And then you know when you're about to run out the door. And you're like oh my god I'm not fake tan. I'm not fake tan. I'm not fake tan. And you don't have time for that at least hour and you literally have that let's say 10 minutes this this is what you need for them quick last minute applications this is the insta glow and it's an instant tan illuminator depending on what your vibe is they do also have clear fake tans as well that go on obviously clear i personally like these because you have a guide color and you can see where you're going and also, this is quite a quick one. This is one to four hours development. And obviously, the longer you leave it on, the more it's going to develop. And one of my other favourite things about this is it lasts for up to seven days and it comes off even. I'm literally just going to do the body parts that are going to be seen. So like I said, this is shade dark. It's the most beautiful, natural suntan colour. I cannot stand fake tans. That look, that orangey colour. Oh, it's just, no, I'd rather not. Can you already see the difference? Name something better than tanned hands. Tanned hands and tanned feet. Okay, just finished my body, as you can see. She's bronzed. I just think it's the most beautiful tan colour. It's just perfect. And then, day to day, like I said, I'll use Day Glow. I want to say this is like my fifth bottle. I love this. I love taking this on holiday with me as well. Got a slight shimmer to it. And that can be put on daily. And then when I want a little bit more intense tan, so obviously because I've done my body, this is going to intensify slightly. So I'm going to go a little bit more and go in with the drops. So I'm going to put my moisturiser on the mat. Put it on your hands, whatever you fancy. Just as long as you're mixing the products together. Also, any moisturiser does the job, just your favourite one. That's the road one, by the way. And then, like I said, five drops. One, two, three, four, five. And this just goes on how you'd put on your moisturizer. You just wanna make sure you've got every part of your face. And if you do get it on eyebrows, i put this down my neck as well, by the way, instead of the body one. If you get it on your eyebrows or anywhere you don't particularly want it, just grab a cotton bud and wipe it away. So this will take a little bit longer. This takes four to six hours to develop, but I'm not gonna put anything on my face today. I feel like my skin's pretty good at the moment. So this is pretty good for them, no makeup days. And like I said, if you're wearing high SPF on holiday or every day, like you should be, this is why these are such a game changer because you do match your face with your body. I'm gonna continue to pot around the house and I'm gonna come back in a little while and show you how it's all looking like i said this is a weekly vlog anyway so you'll see my tan throughout the week and also you'll probably notice in case i do forget to say how it fades off really nice it just gradually gets lighter like i said instead of getting patchy and looking like a bit grubby that is literally why this tan is the best and if you want to check out the link in my description box i'll leave it down below if not you can go into super Jug stores and pick up tanologist they've got a $9.99 deal on for the Daily Glow and also you can get buy one get the second half price on their products and here we are 
showered off, just moisturised and I felt brand new. I had the face on for about four or five hours and I body showered probably like two and a half hours. I said I was only going to leave it on for an hour but I lost track of time and I'm glad I did because I am a really nice colour now. Look who's here! Actually, let me show you my legs. My legs, nothing like brown legs. Look at your legs. You win. You got cuter legs. But yeah, I will leave everything in the description box. Hi, baby. Did you have fun with Nanny? You've been napping as well, haven't you? You've been a snoozy girl. I get this out. She goes all shy. You're noisy all the time normally. And what did we do earlier? We went and we got a balloon for Grandad. And you loved the balloons, didn't you? Shall we show everyone you with the balloons? Ocean's been asleep for like half an hour and she's in this phase where she wakes up like an hour into her sleep so I just need to make noise and eat my dinner and how amazing does that look? Steak, sweet potatoes and loads of roasted vegetables. Oh, she's on her health kick. Even though I'm trying to be healthy, this is my dream meal. Before I go to bed I really want to quickly open this parcel that I got today. I know exactly what it is. Kugels. I've been on the hunt for a new beach bag. So I got one from Anine Bing. I saw a girl when we went to Corfu with um, an Anine Bing beach bag and I loved it. This wasn't the one she had but Oh, how cute. I just love that it's just your typical beach bag with a little bit of branded on. A brand that not everyone knows. Cass? Nice. You like it? Yeah. How cute. Ready for my holiday next week. It is so busy in Westfield. I've literally been here for about five hours. I had a meeting here this morning just in one of the restaurants and I forgot it was the summer holidays. It is Ramo, but I just wanted to get a little bit of shopping done before my holiday next week and it's so much easier being out the house with Ocean because she just gets fed when she wants, lays, chills, has fun, gets out for a bit and then sleeps. Like this is her right now. Honestly, <laughs> if you're having a bad day with your baby, just go out. I feel like it's so much easier being out the house, but I've got about an hour to, well, just under an hour to my train, so I'm just mooching around. My nan's birthday next week, so I get in some birthday presents as well. And um, I'm actually quite proud of myself getting the camera out, because I was thinking, I cannot vlog, it is so busy. I don't even know if you'll be able to hear me, but we done it, we done it. <laughs> even all these years later, guys, if you're just starting YouTube and you're embarrassed, I've been at this for seven years. I've actually had a pretty successful shop too, also. I need to do one of these videos and update you, but this is one of the best things ever. It's just the hook for the pram. Jade got me this for a gift with some of the bits when I had Ocean. It's from Jojo, Mum and Bebe, I think. Yeah, Jojo. And it's the best I literally use every day. I've got about 10 bags on here. Obviously it only works when Ocean's in the pram because it levels it out. God, she's in a deep sleep. Her dummy just fell out. <laughs> but I will give you a little haul when I'm home. Good evening. It's pretty late. <laughs> but Cass has just got in bed and I have to show the monstrosity. <laughs> Do you want to tell everyone what you've done first? As in of the situation. What have I started doing? Playing football. Doing the football team. No, I got scouted. 
No, you did not get scouted. Pretty much. But so tonight was the first day back. It's the first day. Training, yeah. And big reveal. <laughs> no, it's preventative. Oh my god, first game. No, really. It was training. <laughs> yeah, that's just that's worse. <clears throat> Listen, this is what's hold me back all them years ago. Oh, your knees. Yeah, man. Cass is one of the many lads that don't make it as a footballer, <laughs> and because they had a knee injury. Ah, oh, tune back in tomorrow, and you see the size of my knee. To be honest, I will cut you some slack. Like, you did actually have a knee operation, didn't you? Look, and I got MRI on Sunday. Ooh. But yeah, so this is just a little hurdle. I'll we'll be back. And but in well, fact, we do Friday. I'm not going to watch you play if that's what you're trying to ask me. Why not? Cass, seriously. Friday, yeah. No, I don't think I'd even watch you who's in the Premier League, let alone. What? It's just not my vibe. That's so unsupportive. First game. <laughs> Cass, I'm not watching you run around the park. It's not a park. <laughs> oh my god, what is the time? I'm just editing the vlog that is before this one. Oh my god, Cass, it's 11 o'clock when you go to sleep. Mm. Ocean sparkle right there, you can't even see the picture, but. but. I need to do a whole lot of the things I got at Westfield in the morning. It's pretty late. It's 22.32 and I've not vlogged all day, but I'm getting up in the morning and I'm going to Norwich. So I'm going to do this haul of what I got from Westfield. And also I went to Matalan today and I got a few bits in there as well. So I'll show you everything that I got. I think I picked up some good bits. First up, I got this laptop case because... I just needed a sleeve and I keep stealing Cass's. That is from Tiger Tiger. You know, the little store that looks like, like a mini Ikea. It's just got random stuff. And now this stuff is from Uniqlo. You know, the shop with the logo that's like that. Oh my God, have I been missing out? I keep seeing TikToks about stuff from there. So I went in and just thought, I'll have a browse. Oh my goodness. It's like a basics heaven unbelievable so i got this cardigan in a size large it's just a button down kind of woolly but like a thin wool the weather at the moment in england is just perfect for this kind of cardi i don't know if they're online but i'll have a look but if not you need to find a uniqlo oh my god it's so comfy i'm gonna leave this one and from what i remember it was pretty affordable this cardigan was £29. And then this was what I actually saw on TikTok. So this is what I went in there for. This is a tank top, but it's got a built-in cups for bra. Like a bra. Basically, <laughs> you don't have to wear a bra. And this girl was like, these are the best things ever. And I was obsessed with tops like this from Victoria's Secret. But they never have any sizes in Victoria's Secret. They literally only have like XX small. And... Mm -mm, not me <laughs> so i wanted to try these i'm not really into crop tops at the moment but i don't know maybe it's something i'll work towards and i got a black one in a medium and also this cream one that had loads of colors and these were 19.90 you come to watch my haul yes I'm all right. oh, this is the best so i've already worn the black one of this today i actually wore my run which is a bit of a waste but these tops if you go in for anything please pick up these tops these are a bit like your vest actually that you <laughs> yeah but such nice material like so thick and stretchy things in there were giving me skims vibes i reckon kim and uniqlo go to the same warehouse that factory i got these in a small i know that sounds really random because this was in a large medium small but Basically, because I had a tiny little vest top on, I was just trying the stuff on in the store. And Ocean found it hilarious. So I was just putting these on over the top. And I started off with a medium and they were so big because they're so stretchy and they're long line. And they're a really nice length as well to like tuck in jeans. So I've got cream, black, and I think grey. Oh, and white. Uh, cream. Oh my god, they're so nice. And yeah, they're 12 90 and they're literally an everyday essential and I will wear these on rotation. I'm in my basics era and I literally don't wear anything different nowadays. 
Okay, now I think we're on Zara. So I just got a, you know, the good old Zara material that almost feels a bit like a swimsuit. Strappy white bodysuit. I saw this, this is so random and I tried it on and I really liked it. Look at you looking up to judge me. I tried it on in the store and for some reason I thought it looked quite cool. It's in the size medium. You can't really tell. I'll take this cardigan off to show you because it just looks, I'll be honest, I think it looks awful. So I like the big sleeves. That's what drew me in. And also the bottom is a tire, like drawstring. So you can make that whole balloon kind of I just thought it was cute for again not this color but like a cream vest top and then the bottom is like this and just like it's that done up bagged over or undone i think in this iffy weather at the moment it's breathable nice and lightweight i just thought it's another option other than the bloody denim jacket because that's all i wear and that's 35.99 then i went in h&m and all I picked up was this in the sale. This was £7. I think it might be baby boys, but I thought it was quite cute for Ocean. But you don't like it? No, it's nice. Why are you no, laughing? It's just a, the hat I think you've got. I know she has to wear a hat. It's so cute, I think. But I needed new swim stuff because one of my favourite ones Cass left on holiday. No, I didn't. It was you. You were the last one with it and we lost it. So yeah, this was in the sale. A lot of the summer stuff for babies is marked down. I got a Tupperware container because we don't have Tupperware. This is from Tiger Tiger because um, every so often I make food and there's some left over, but there's only ever like enough for the next day. So, oh, pardon? Oh, it's no, it's from Tiger Tiger. It's like a fiver, I think. Oh, and it has a little. Yeah, I thought oh, there was no B and M at. Westfield. It comes with knife and fork, which I thought was quite cool. Um, I was going to say something really dumb, but you keep it for Ocean when she goes to school. Probably be mouldy by then. <laughs> okay, we're down to the last few bits. Zara Baby. Wow. I'd literally lose my mind in Zara Baby. I'm going for the bigger size now. So she's in three to six months, but I'm buying stuff that's six to nine months because this stuff will obviously be better for her in the winter. And this reminded me of like a little ballet outfit. How cute is that cast? But the only thing is, it's expensive for a baby. And obviously, that's why I've gone bigger, because I want her to get her wear out of it. $16.99 for the top, $14.99 for the bottoms. And then another little two-piece. I thought this was so cute. And I cast this, I'm going to like this print, because we don't agree on prints. And again, the little leggings with the feet in. I like this wrap design on babies. I think it's pretty cute. And then my last item. I did a clear out the other day. I think I got a tiny snippet in one of my vlogs. And I threw away everything because I don't fit in anything anymore. And I've gone back and got the bigger size in my good old trusty Zara staple. I'm sure everyone that's watching this has this bodysuit. But I got it in a large, I had mediums before, and they were okay, I just think. This will be a bit more flattering. I wanted it in a white one, but the only one that was available was covered in makeup. So, that's all I got. Oh, I have the receipt from Tiger Tiger, I can tell you how much the top boy was. Four pound! That's brilliant. And the laptop sleeve, you missed that bit. I got myself a laptop sleeve. Oh, yeah. I know, so I said because I keep stealing yours. And I did try a perfume. I tried the Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla because I saw a TikTok of a girl and literally she had on a haul of all her perfumes and she had literally every single perfume I've got. So I was like, we have the same taste. And she said she loves this Ariana Grande one called Mod Vanilla. There's two different flavours. Flavours? Scents. And I like it, but it, I feel like I've got a lot like it. And it's not that strong. And I like the vanilla Kayali one. It's so much stronger. Matalan, really quickly today. I got some bigger sizes in. My favourite vests from there. So much more for your money in there than like Zara. £7 for three. I did post this on my story, but I've caved and got her first little 
Halloween outfit. This is so cute. I will link this stuff down below. Oh my god, so cute. And this set was £9. We are going on holiday next week. So I thought I'd get a couple more little cute outfits. Little hat and a romper. That was £10. This is so not really my style. But I just thought it was so cute. I love strawberries and... We love a zipper onesie. She has this in turquoise and purple and gets so much wear out of it. So I got a bigger size in this hot pink. Another free pack of vests. If you have a Matalan near you, go get these vests and get them in every size because they are the best. You get so much wear out of these. And then I got a three pack of sleep suits, which she's actually got one on now. And the other one I've just packed to go to Norwich, but it's basically like a sea themed, like ocean themed. And this one is the only really boyish one, but it's just blue. It's just a colour. The one she's got on now has like sharks, octopus, fish all over it. And the one I've just packed has three little sea creatures that says best friends. That's so cute. And that's everything I got. And I'll see you in the morning when we go to Norwich. Good morning. What a day for peeing in the car for two hours. It's 28 degrees. England is the most bipolar country when it comes to the weather. What is going on? I'm so confused. But I'm heading to Norwich to stay at Zell's tonight and spend a couple of days with her. Ocean has been asleep for so long. I'm so buzzing. Recently, she's been getting a bit whingy in the car. I think, obviously, she's getting a little bit bigger. And when she was tiny, it was there was so much room for her. But they say that they're finding the infant carriers till, well, I think like eight, nine months, depending on her size. But yeah, she just doesn't like being strapped in and held in one place as so she normally cries. But she's been sleeping sounder. I can see her on the camera. So it's been a nice, smooth journey so far. Been blasting my chins, having some me time. The skies are blue. I'm wearing shorts. It's a good time. And I even had time to do me some cute makeup got in my Bottega dupe earrings from Olivia Sales. I love these. And I'm currently on the slowest road in the world because this road works. But Norwich, here we come. I hear the sound of empty streets. Yesterday has gone to sleep. <sighs> Made it to Norwich and straight to Wagamama's because literally haven't eaten today i'm so hungry this is my first meal of the day and i'm normally a i need breakfast as my first food are you like that yeah I, I but i'm just i'm so hungry and i love working on so it doesn't matter and look who i'm with i'm pia hey hi pia hi pia yeah. <gasps> someone's eating all their lunch already you don't mess around do you no nope. had a sandwich Big girl, have to show everyone how you walk later. Yeah. And then we've got almost ready to pop mama. Yes, definitely. Almost there. A few weeks left. 33 weeks. Oh, so you need to 34 weeks today. Oh, I'm not going to do it. I did it last time. Do it because you can not. put them together and see how big you oh, are. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll do it yes, just for that. Just for that. Don't have to post it just for yourself. Okay, I will. <laughs> Gone for the good old teriyaki soba steak. Chicken, Chicken. yaki soba. And then we've got little miss cranky pants who's just woke up and she scratched her face so badly today haven't you and you your outfit matches mummy nails what's wrong you're still tired you're still tired hold my hand and hear the words i say close your eyes and let us fade away don't mock my McDonald's order. No, I don't even know if I mentioned that I'm staying at Zell's tonight. I think I did. Hey. You can just hear Ocean kicking around over there. <laughs> She's in play. her crib. Supposed to be sleeping, absolutely not. We've just, it's so dark, but we've got, oh, here we go. McDonald's! Remember in my last vlog when I said I was being healthy? The problem is when you've got bad friends. No, I think it's Pregnant a treat bad yourself. friends. And friends that just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> my order is pathetic. I get a hamburger. I think I mentioned this before. Hamburger chips and a coke. Wait, well, no ice. Time normally, but I'm time <gasps> so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was there. Face on. This is the constant debate. When I'm with Aisha, she literally bangs on about how Ocean's my twin, and when I'm with Zell, 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's literally cats. That's it, Sid. I see cats. For sure. Like, look, that is literal mini cats. I don't see Sid, oh, Mama. Daddy. <laughs> Do you not think? Like, all oh, my DMs are always just like, she's your twin. Really? Why is it that I can't see it? Who do you look like? I think she's daddy's girl. Yeah, look. Her eyes and everything is just gas. Her nose, her... Yeah, uh, she's got his nose. I see your mummy. I see your mummy. I see your mummy. Oh, that's a proper giggle. Mummy. Why is that proper giggles? It's like a little giggle. I feel mummy. <laughs> Good morning. Did you have a little bit of a coffin fit in the night? I think she's getting her first cold. We did a little sofa slumber party tonight, didn't we? Last night. Ocean slept on one end of the sofa. And I slept on the other, but in the end, when she was coughing. And I need to Google, I need to ask Sal, what do you do when a baby has a cold? Like, she sounded so bunged up. It sounded a little bit better now. To be fair, <clears throat> have we both got colds? You think we've both got colds? <laughs> but it's nice and early now, it's half, half seven. And I don't think she's going to go back to sleep. Sometimes she does, but we'll see. Ready? Oh. Say hi! Oh, it's baby Zell and Sid! Oh! Hi, Shem! Hi! What's this? Baby shark, do 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 Baby shark, do 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 Ocean! Ocean, what's this, baby? <laughs> baby shark, do 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 Say hi! Happy! Oh! Say hi, Ocean! So here's my outfit of the day. My outfit is from, I'm guessing, Matalan. No, George Asta. Oh, George Asta. And where's yours from ah, here? Ah, Primark. Ah. Oh. It's not thing how much you get, so I normally live something everywhere I go. So look who, who, look who we're with. Release. <gasps> Hiya. Oh, I can't even see you. Here she is. Oh, it's me. It's <gasps> long time no see. See, I've got so big. Can you say you. Emily? Imagine she said Emily. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Emily. <laughs> I'd love that. Brad Whilst I'm in Norwich, I had to swing by all the Norwich friends. You know. <laughs> two of them. Two. <laughs> just the two. Would be great. Sit down. Oh my god, you're actually really heavy. Let me just put you in the other arm. Close your eyes and let us fade away. Build the secret place for you and me. Never wanted a car journey to end so much in my life. <sighs> Norwich to Hertfordshire. It's long. It's, well, it's not that long, is it? It took me like two and a half hours. I did mention this morning, but Ocean's really getting a bad cold. I think it's going to be full force tonight, you know, and things are just so much worse at night. So I actually already had this. I'm getting everything at the ready. This is the Cowpole Saline Nose Spray. We used this quite a bit when she was first born because she seemed really like, grog not groggy, what's the word? A bit bunged up, but I think that's quite natural with newborns, but we just used it anyway and she's always been fine with it. So I'm actually glad we used it when she was tiny because I just did it on her, well, when we first got home and um, she didn't even flinch. And I'm about to do one more spray because basically I've just opened this kit that I got sent from Frida baby and it's literally everything we need right now it's been sitting in her room for about probably two weeks but I just haven't opened it but now is the perfect time because I've got a humidifier which literally has a picture of a snotty baby on it and I just rang my nan and I was like am I dreaming this or are these really good for when babies are well or anyone's bugged up she was like yes plug it in get it going now so I'm gonna get that on and then this kit which has literally everything in it 
It's called the Ultimate Baby Kit. I think you can buy these. I assume that it's not just like a PR kit. I've seen the Frida stuff in boots. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. Baby nail clippers, thermometer, I've got stuff like that. We do actually have a nose sucker, but I just got boots on it, it didn't work. So I'm gonna try this one now. That's why I'm gonna use the saline spray again, because it says it's best to like loosen up the mucus. Um, what else is in here? I mean, I'll just show you. There's like health and wellness grooming, teething, which this will probably come in hand. Oh, and there's a case in there for everything. I was thinking, where am I gonna put this? That's handy if there's a case. And this is handy because we're going on holiday, so I'm going to take loads of this. Oh, it's called Booger's Butts and Beyond. Perfect timing. But you're a bit bunged up, Bobby, aren't you? You just keep sniffling and sneezing and coughing. You've been giggling on your mat. I think you missed being at home, didn't you? My little home girl. Well, we had a lovely time. It's really nice for her to be with another baby. I think I say that quite a lot, but when we saw Maya, of course, as well. I've like, managed to fit into the twins both this week, which was a bit unplanned to be honest, but I really want to see Zell before she obviously has the next baby. And now we're just going to try and sort you out, aren't we? And then probably call it a night tonight because I'm knackered from that drive. She's knackered from being ill. Cass is on his way home. He's just gone and got a tattoo. So he ran. And to be fair, he mentioned it a while ago. I just didn't realise it was today. And he's got a sleeve. I don't know if anyone's ever noticed or cares but he literally had it done like four or five years ago but he literally missed like this whole section here because it's like oh to be fair on the phone he was like this is the most painful section they've said to me but i literally i literally have a tattoo there it's not that bad is it i can't even remember if this was painful or not because i literally had this about five years as well but yeah he's gone and finished it he sent me a picture uh, no, he sent me a video, but on WhatsApp, I feel like everything just sends so blurry, so I can barely see it. I was like, just show me when you're home, as long as you're happy with it. Um, I've rung him as well, that's where I was going with this, God, my brain. I've just said, can you try and get some baby vapour rub? And if there's like a, a liquid version of a vapour rub to put in the humidifier, because that's what it says on there. Should we try and suck your nose? I'll quickly show you me trying to, if, if you don't want to watch this turn off now but should we look at your nose try and get some snot out try and clear you up a bit come here baby so she takes it so well oh i did get some that feel better no other nose oh it's the weirdest thing oh my god i've got loads though oh you're so bunged up baby Wow, this one's good. This one's so much better than the Boots own one. I've got loads of filters in it, by the way. If you've never seen these, they do have a filter in. Because I'm obviously sucking from this end. And this is going. It's it's designed so that it's not small enough to go in their nostril. So it's, thanks for that. It's not harming her at all. It literally is barely even touching her nostril. It's on the outside. I need to edit this video and get it up for tomorrow morning. So I'm going to close out the video here. I had a couple of things that I wanted to say, though. First thing... I was doing my hair and I was like, oh my god, let me mention the hair update. So if you watched my last vlog, I had the Brazilian blow dry, didn't think it worked. The salon said that they used a different kind of style Brazilian blow dry. And I went into the salon, had a conversation with the owner. To cut a massive long story short, I got a full refund. Uh, they were really nice about it to be honest it was one of them we kind of had to like agree to disagree i think if i'd never had it before um i wouldn't know what i was comparing to and i'd probably just be like this isn't for me like i don't like it but i remember how much i loved it and then this just hasn't worked for me and i took loads of pictures of like the first time i washed it to show the owner and she was completely understanding in the fact that I'm the customer, I wasn't happy with it, nothing to do with the staff, how they did it, um, well, maybe how they did it, but I just think it's the products that they used. So I got a refund for that because a few people have asked me what went on with that, and then loads of hairdressers that followed me have messaged me saying like, definitely been done wrong, blah 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 blah, but you know, it is what it is, the salon think that they've done it right, you just have to just... I don't know i just didn't want anyone else going and pay because it was a lot of money it was 200 pound and when i had it done a couple years ago 
it was £100. So they're very premium priced salon. And I just wasn't happy, just being completely honest. I just think sometimes there is a nice way to go in and just say, listen, I'm not complaining, but I'm not happy. And um, is there like a happy medium? I was happy to hear like what she had to say. I thought that maybe she might just like offer me a free colour or a blow dry. I wasn't expecting her to say like, I'll just refund you, but happy days. And then also I just got this this morning. Cass broke my Apple Watch when we moved. We were packing and that is what it is. It just fell out the box and it smashed. And he was like, I'll get you a new one. And I was just like, to be honest, I didn't really use it that much. I literally just liked it for the steps and when I went on runs. So I was looking online and I found this on Amazon and, hold on, there we go. It literally, I can't tell my hand that much, is exactly the same as an Apple Watch. It even comes up with your messages, it's waterproof, it does everything. It's got like training trackers, heart rate, sleep, weather, music, stopwatch, £15. It was £15. I don't know if this is like a promotion on Amazon at the moment, but it, you have to be a Prime member, so I'll link it down below, but do not sleep on this. £15, I kid you not, it's no different. Literally I've been getting texts and it pings up on here, just like an Apple Watch, because I was thinking, oh, shall I get a Fitbit? Because like I said, I just wanted it for the steps and stuff, but I don't even know what the freaking brand's called, to be honest. I had to download an app to just like sync it and set it up, what was the app called? glory fit <laughs> and then the final thing i was going to say is random but i booked jonas brothers tickets and it wasn't until i was with zelia because her and aisha have been to see jonas brothers before and i'm low-key quite a big jonas brothers fan i don't think zel realized until she was in the car with me and their album was playing and i knew like every single word and she was like we literally just got jonas brothers tickets like they just come on sale or i didn't know they come on sale I'm such a concert girl. So Zell rung Aisha and was just like, you booked the tickets, is there any in the same kind of vicinity left? And she looked, and I don't know how she's done it, but she's literally found tickets the row behind, like literally sitting directly, the two exact same seats, but the row behind. So I'm going to see Jonas Brothers. It's not till next June, but let me know if you're going. I love them, I really love them. Oh, someone didn't want to miss out. You wanna tell them this one was my last point actually that Ocean's currently got her first ever cold. Her first, hey, this has got to stop this hair thing. She was much worse yesterday, a little bit better today. She was at Randy because she never comes in here. This is mummy's secret little den. She's so aware now that when we stayed at Zell's, she knew we were somewhere else. She just knew it, she took so long to go to sleep and then she was a little bit more restless than normal. And then obviously we come back home last night and she was like fine again, other than being a little bit poorly. But daddy got you Olbus oil for babies and Frida baby sent me a humidifier and it is amazing. We put it on last night. Um, I know I said this so much, but I am really, when I get back from holiday, I'm going to do the essentials video of what you need if you're having a baby soon. Because I feel like I have tried a lot of things and with the luxury of my job, I do get sent to try it out a lot and I'll be honest some things aren't worth it some things are so worth it so I want to go through and do a list of things that you absolutely need and a list of things that you could do with if you have the spare cash and then things that don't even bother I just need to put the list together but obviously every single baby is different but we are going on holiday in three days two days tuesday <laughs> and i'll sort that out when i'm home but we've got a holiday coming up we've got a holiday vlog going on holiday for nanny's birthday this is where mummy can do makeup make mess get dressed hide from you but anyways guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this vlog and we will see you on holiday go follow me on instagram if you want to see stuff in real time and also tiktok i love doing like real time tiktok videos and like day in the life kind of things we will see you very 